Hey everyone, welcome to our small footprint. Uh, today is day, I want to say six of my uh, prep days after the grocery shop. So uh, what did we do today? We did uh, some stock, some uh, stock dog food and canning of the stock and uh, breakfast pizzas because we had leftover pizza dough and I don't know we'll, I've got it all put, all recorded for you so I'll share it after this and uh, enjoy watching as usual let me know if there's anything any feedback at all on these videos so that I can try and make them better viewing for those that wish to watch them and uh, I will see you again tomorrow ish as well thanks Try and make the first task of the day something that's going to take a while so I get it started and then I don't have to worry about it for a while. So today we started off with stock. So I do chicken stock. I keep all the carcasses and bones and stuff from anything that we've consumed in freezer bags in the freezer that I reuse anytime we have more to freeze. I put onions and carrots in the stock pot, uh, whatever we happen to have. Sometimes there'll be zucchini, sweet potato, it really just depends what we've got. And I then use the carcasses. So I've got some uh, legs, some leg bones from some chicken drumsticks that the kids had as well as some carcasses from whole chickens. I add garlic, pepper, salt and apple cider vinegar into it and then I top it all up with water. Uh, we have a garden hose that is filtered. It, it is uh, food grade hosing and it's filtered uh, that we use in our kitchen and uh, we top it up and I'm going to can this stock so I topped it all the way up to the maximum fill line for this particular batch and then put the lid on it and it runs for 90 minutes at pressure. For breakfast slash lunch today, I sliced up some of the smoked chicken that I had made, as well as some of the fresh tomatoes that we still had left over, making use of those, having those fresh tomatoes while we've got them, because we don't always have fresh eating tomatoes. And then we had pizza dough left over from the night before, so it had just been sitting in the fridge. So I rolled that out into our normal rectangle shapes and I rolled it nice and thin. It's more like a biscuit base, more like a tart, I suppose, at when it's the second day and stuff. We used the canned pizza sauce, some pesto and some caramelized onion on the base of it because you want it fairly saucy when it's more of like a tart than a, a pizza, if it's a thinner, crispy type base. And we used the tomato slices, as well as the chicken minced up really nice and fine to put over the top of it. Uh, a nice solid layer, as I said, more like a tart than a pizza, but tasty. And then I grabbed some basil from my Mr. Stacky and diced it all up. Once the pizzas were cooked, I pulled them out and I sprinkled all that fresh basil over the top to serve. It was a very tasty lunch. The kids uh, of course in the middle of everything wanted some banana bread so I sliced that up for them uh, and let them come and grab a piece in between what I was doing. So when we make stock we strain all the solids out but we don't use any uh, muslin or anything else we're not too concerned about there being some sediment uh, and then I fill my jars up with the stock while it's hot into hot jars obviously so you don't want to have cold jars with hot stock you want the temperature of the item that you're canning to be the same temperature as the glass jar so that you don't have any issues with thermal shock because that will cause the bottoms to drop out of your jars uh, while you're canning or right there on the bench which makes a lot of mess it's not something you really want to happen 
and did all the normal clean the rims of the jars with vinegar and then put the lids on it some people put their stock in the fridge overnight so they can skim all the fat off it before they can it uh, this means that you're less likely to have any failed lids because there's no fat getting up in between it but we actually like the fat and the little bits in it uh, we think it adds to the flavor of the stock when we're using it with the solids we stick them in our thermomix and we puree all the bones and the vegetables and any e extra fluid that's left into a stock paste for the dogs to have with their dry food to eat for dinner uh, they really enjoy it and it gives them a whole lot of nutrients that we would otherwise be throwing on the compost for dinner tonight we decided to slice up some of the pork belly really nice and thin. Daryl wanted to do pork burgers so we sliced it up really nice and thin and marinated it in some of the uh, plum barbecue sauce that I had made and just coated it really well and put it aside for a while so that the flavours were all over that pork so that we could cook it up later. Since I'd sliced those pieces off the pork I decided to start the rest into a bacon so I mixed the 50-50 salt and sugar ratio with some paprika and some molasses so that I had that brown sugar salt mix and I decided to add a bit of paprika this time as well. Uh, I rubbed the bacon with the pork all over with it into all the nooks and crannies making sure it was all covered and that it was there was salt and sugar in contact with every part of it and then I will I put all the excess rub into a jar so that over the next five to seven days I will drain the liquid off and re-rub the pork if I need to to make sure that it's well covered and still curing in the fridge. I have a whole video on how I make bacon, I will link that in the cards as well. I had some excess starter that needed using so I decided to make some pasta dough, we had some excess eggs as well. so. I do flour, egg, sourdough starter and a little bit of oil and I use my Thermomix to uh, blend it up into the little texturized knobs that you want it to be to start with um, and then I put it all out on my dough mat and I hand knead it to bring it all together. Uh, this sourdough pasta you want to be slightly drier than other pasta dishes because it will hydrate as it sits there. I have a whole video on how to make sourdough pasta as well. I'll put that one in the cards too in case you're interested in looking at it. I did three different batches because I can only do a certain size per go in the Thermix. So I did three different batches to ferment and then it'll go in the fridge overnight and I will roll it out as one of the tasks to do tomorrow. We decided to cook the thin rashes of pork on one of the racks in the smoker. So the very bottom of the smoker, put some wood in there so it would flare up with uh, some flames as well. And we cooked the pork over the top of those flames and that really high heat at the bottom of the smoker. I forgot to take any footage of the burgers, <laughs> but they were very good. They were just brioche rolls with lettuce and tomato and some onion jam and these pieces of marinated pork in the rolls. So thank you for joining me again today and I hope you enjoyed watching and that you might have got some inspiration on some things that you could do with ingredients that you have or will look to add to your shopping list and I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks.